The Sunshine State Trail Lake Preview is powered by Amped Outdoors. Okeechobee. In the Native American tongue, it means big water. An appropriate name for the inland sea that covers 730 square miles, boasts 135 miles of shoreline, and encompasses parts of five different counties in South Florida. One of the first mysteries successful anglers will figure out is are the bass tight to cover or are they playing fast and loose in open water? If bass are actively feeding over submerged grass or in open boat lanes, anglers can have fun with fast moving lures and collect a limit quickly. Given the timing of this event in late January, sight fishing for bedded bass could certainly play a huge role. There are thousands of acres of this type of cover to explore on the north end of the lake, which is convenient because that's where this tournament is going to launch from. Bladed jigs, such as a chatterbait jackhammer, have probably been responsible for more wins and more money won than any other tactic in recent years. Look for spawners in areas that are open to the warm southern sun while protected from the cold north wind. The big water conjures images of big bass. 21 Florida trophy catches, that's bass over 8 pounds, were registered there in 2019, including 6 weighing 10 pounds or more. Of course, you can never rule out a frog bite on Lake Okeechobee. If bass are hanging out under mats of cut eelgrass or any other kind of floating debris, throw a frog and hang on. Of course, topwater action is always in fashion, whether we're steadily winding a gambler Big Easy or barely nudging an x rap prop next to heavy cover. Big water, big bass, big challenge for the anglers participating in the first ever Sunshine State Trail Tournament on Lake Okeechobee.